Good news, guys. My sales are up 29% on my eBay store compared to last month. And it got me thinking, what am I doing on a daily basis that's helping bringing in these consistent results? And I've had a bit of a think about it, and there are five things that I wanted to speak about today that hopefully, no matter what level of reselling you're at, you can benefit from. So that look, they are my own personal opinions. That by no means are they 100% the way to go about things. But it's just through my experience, these five tips have certainly helped me increase my sales. So hopefully, you do get some benefit out of it today. Let's dive into the first tip. So the first tip is actually the thing that I do in the morning. The minute I wake up, it's the first action that I take on my store and that is actually to end and relist every item that is ending within the next 24 hours. And by manually doing this myself, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second, it actually creates a fresh listing, a new item number, and it almost tricks eBay into thinking that you've put brand new listings into your store. So it's a great way to get some fresh listings and a fresh feel to your store at the beginning of the day. And I am enjoying doing this process because it has brought in an increase in my sales. Don't fall into the trap though of making sure that that's the only thing you do when it comes to relisting. So you wanna make sure that you are actually putting in brand new listings with brand new items each and every day as well. But this is a great way to sort of add on to what you're already doing on a listing front. Personally, I think it's also a great tool for me to actually take a day off. I've really found over the last little period that I've battled to actually find time to take off. If I'm trying to list every single day, where is actually gonna be a day that I can sit back and not do anything? So this has been a really good tool, the end relist strategy on a day that I wanna take off. I can simply do this process and then step away from eBay for the rest of the day. All right, guys, I'll just quickly take you through the end relist strategy. The first thing that I do before anything is just in the homepage on your sales dashboard under active listings, I'll just check to see what listings I've got ending for that day. And today we've only got five listings that we need to manipulate. The first thing that I'll do is, as you can see here, I'm just changing the price of those five listings um, only by about a dollar or two. It, it's not much of a change, maybe 50 cents, maybe a dollar, um, just to basically refresh with a slightly less of a price point because clearly the listing hasn't sold in 30 days. So the price might be just sort of not quite right. Um, then I'll push across to the left-hand side. I'll tick every single box that I've just changed the price on. I'll go up to action and click end. And then you'll get this screen pop up. And again, you've just got to hit the end listing um, and then that'll generate. Um, I then just click two back buttons to get myself back to the active listings page that we were just on. And then up the top here, you'll see the listings tab. I click on that and then I go down to ended. And then once you jump into here, you'll see in a second, there is the five listings that I've just ended. So if I click on the top box up there and then I click on sell similar, it will slowly load. It does take a little while to load up. It'll load up for you here and all you have to do is click on submit all. And then once you've clicked on that, you hit the box down the bottom here and you have basically refreshed five new listings that ultimately look like brand new listings. Tip number two is list every day. I've never met somebody that is a consistent lister and not a consistent seller. If you're not listing, you're not selling. It's just a completely true statement. Now I'm doing 15 a day and I'm doing my five in the morning when I first wake up and then I'll try and do my remaining 10 listings at any point throughout the rest of the day. I think another really key thing with your listing, while the number will be different for everyone, if you're just starting out, you might only be doing one or two listings a day and if you're a full-time reseller, you might be doing 30 plus a day. Whatever that number is for you, you need to make sure that you're ticking that item off on a daily basis. And the other thing as well is that you're continually trying to adopt best practice with your listing, always trying to get a little bit better as well, a better description, a better title, some better photos, a better setup for your listing station. Whatever the case is, it's just super important that you are doing it on a daily basis. Tip number three would be promoted listings. Now, personally, the way I do my promoted listings is I will always go one to 3%. And for anybody out there that doesn't know what one to 3% is, or even what promoted listings is, is you're basically telling the algorithm to put a few more little ads out there for your listing, to show a few more people out there what you've got to sell. You will pay a small fee for it and it will let you know 
per the percentage of what cost you will actually incur if your item sells on a promoted listing, but you're basically just casting the net a little bit further dependent upon what percentage you choose to put on. Now, for me personally, while you can go upwards of 10 to 15 to 20% worth of promoted listings, I will always do a blanketed one to 3%. And I know that you can get really strategic and do a certain percentage for a certain type of item, but I just kind of just blanket it out. I do one to 3% for absolutely every listing. And when you have a look at the table of my promoted sales versus my organic sales, I've generally averaged around 50% worth of promoted listing sales. So there's an extra cost in there, but it is quite a small cost because it is only one to 3% worth of promoted listings. But I'm certainly generating more sales because every single listing has got a wider reach. There are more impressions, which leads to more views, which leads to more sales. My analytics are telling me that. And I really do think that since I've adopted the process of promoting every single one of my listings that I've had a lot more success. Tip number four is to enable and send best offers ASAP. Now, I really like this one. I'm actually quite hot on the mark to just get the offer sent out straight away. The minute I see it come in, I send them a 5% discount and hopefully they can buy it straight away. I think my strike rate on that is probably two out of every 10 will accept. So it's probably about a 20% strike rate, but I just figure it's best practice. If I'm looking at a listing and I say, I'll, I'll give this one a watch and then somebody sends me an offer straight away, I'm already in the heat of the moment. I'm, I'm probably a better chance of buying it. At least that's my thought anyway. Um, I'll always make sure that I'm enabling best offer. I think it's a great tool. People always want to negotiate a best offer to think that they've got the best price possible. So if you're even making that an option, you're going to be a better chance of finding some sales. So I'll always do that. I'll send it out straight away, cast the net out there with 5% discount and hope for the best. And then tip number five would be to accept best offers as well. I mean, I'm caught out quite a bit in seeing an offer come in and I go, my God, that is a low ball offer. How bad is that? And I always want to decline the sale. But the big tip that I've got for you here is to never angrily decline an offer. Always send them an offer that is at least, again, like your best offer of 5% discount. It's amazing how many times people will send through a low ball offer and then go ahead and accept your offer of just 5% worth of a discount. Never decline always hold your breath and go ahead with just reducing it to a smaller margin and you never know you might get the sale but a lot of the times recently I've said yes to offers and I've never been disappointed the minute the money comes into my account so if you're seeing an offer that you're a bit hesitant about I personally think that you should say yes cash flow and capital is so important when it comes to reselling so if you can accept an offer get the cash reinvested into something else you're going to be in a better position so I do those five things every single day. And like you would have seen before, there's been a slow incremental growth in my sales statistics. And I think there's a lot of things out there that I could be doing to my eBay account that would increase my sales even further. The two things that really do come to mind is promoted sales. Just putting out a promotion of 20% off my entire store or a select amount of goods. I don't do promoted sales. And I 100% know that I would get a better result if I did. So that's certainly something that I'm gonna look into over the next couple of weeks is to run a couple of monthly promotions. And the other one as well is international shipping. I personally only do domestic shipping and I really do think that if I opened up international shipping for every single one of my items, I would get a whole lot more sales come in. Personally, it's just um, a lack of knowledge as to the reason why I haven't done international shipping. I have done it on a couple of items specifically that I do think would sell well internationally, but I haven't blanketed it out over every single one of my listings. But um, that's something that I'm gonna look into. The reason I haven't done it is I just don't wanna get burnt on international postage charges and it's just purely not having the background or knowledge to know how much the correct charge is. So I'm going to dive into that one a little bit more. I'm going to dive into the promoted sales a little bit more, but they would be two things that come to mind on how to basically grow my sales even further with the platform. Let me know in the comments, what did you think of those tips? Are there any out there that you're currently doing that you're seeing success in yourself that I haven't covered today? Are there any tips in there that basically that I've put out that you're not agreeing with? Uh, let me know. I really want to start a discussion in the comments. It's always great to get your feedback. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I really do appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.